Welcome to Wall Street News Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Business Highlights, UAW Announces Deal with GM, Resilient U.S. Consumers. May Day Call, The Bloomberg Close, America's Edition. How Major U.S. Stock Indexes Fared Monday, October 30, 2023. Pharmacists prescribe another round of U.S. protests to highlight working conditions. BlackBerry CEO Chen to retire, Director Lynch to hold interim charge. Business highlights, UAW announces deal with GM, resilient U.S. consumers. Associated Press. The United Auto Workers, UAW, union has reached a tentative contract with General Motors, GM, ending the strikes against Detroit automakers. The GM deal comes after tentative agreements were reached with Ford and Stellantis. Under the deal, workers at all three companies will return to work pending votes on ratifying the contracts. The main provisions of the contracts are largely the same, but there are small differences. Meanwhile, U.S. consumers continue to spend despite high prices and a gloomy economic outlook. Consumer spending rose by 0.4% in September, even after adjusting for inflation. Economists caution that such vigorous spending is unlikely to continue in the coming months as households dip into savings or turn to credit cards. President Joe Biden has signed an executive order to guide the development of artificial intelligence, AI. The executive order requires the industry to develop safety and security standards and introduces new consumer protections. Leading AI developers will also be required to share safety test results and other information with the government. May Day Call, The Bloomberg Close, America's Edition. Bloomberg. General Motors has reached a deal with the United Auto Workers, UAW, to end a strike that cost the company billions. This settlement makes GM the last of the three legacy U.S. automakers to settle with the UAW. FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried returned to the witness stand for a third day as prosecutors investigate his alleged involvement in directing Alameda's trading. Bankman-Fried stated that he had a role as CEO but was not involved in day-to-day -day trading. The relationship between FTX and stablecoin issuer Tether is also under scrutiny. Amazon's decision to allow AI-generated lifestyle images in advertising is seen as a further erosion of trust between customers and the online store. This move has the potential to misrepresent the quality of products and the integrity of the sellers. Kim Kardashian's Schemes brand has become the official underwear partner of the NBA in a multi-year deal that also includes the WNBA and USA Basketball. Collaborations are expected at key events like the NBA All-Star Weekend and the in-season tournament. The global shortfall of sugar and cocoa due to poor weather from West Africa to India is causing steep prices for Halloween candy. This trend is expected to worsen by Christmas. U.S. workers are becoming increasingly worried about job cuts, with discussions of layoffs reaching the highest level since July 2020. Employee confidence has also deteriorated to a fresh low, according to Glassdoor data going back to 2016. How major U.S. stock indexes fared Monday, October 30, 2023. Associated Press. Pharmacists prescribe another round of U.S. protests to highlight working conditions. Associated Press. Drugstore workers across the U.S. have called in sick to protest against the lack of support from their employers. The protests have been organized by pharmacists and technicians and have affected dozens of stores, with some Walgreens locations closing due to a lack of staff. The workers are protesting against difficult working conditions, which have been exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Pharmacists and technicians are calling for better staffing levels to avoid dangerous working conditions and medication errors. CVS Health and Walgreens have both said they are working to address the concerns raised by employees. BlackBerry CEO Chen to retire, Director Lynch to hold interim charge. Reuters. BlackBerry CEO John Chen is set to retire after leading the Canadian technology company for a decade. Chen oversaw the firm's transition from a hardware and devices company to one that focuses on enterprise software. Richard Lynch, a director on BlackBerry's board, will serve as interim CEO while the company searches for a permanent replacement. Chen will also step down as board chair, with Lynch taking over the position. BlackBerry has shifted its focus to cybersecurity, in-car software, and Internet of Things, IoT, applications, and recently announced plans to separate its IoT and cybersecurity units and pursue an initial public offering for the IoT business next year. Musk's X says it is worth $19 billion one year after acquisition. Financial Times. Social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, 
has informed employees that its valuation has dropped to $19 billion, a significant decrease from the $44 billion price it was valued at when Elon Musk bought it just over a year ago. The banks that financed the acquisition are now left with $13 billion of debt tied to the deal, resulting in paper losses as X's value has plummeted. The platform has struggled to generate revenue after many marketers pulled their ad dollars last year due to concerns over Musk's decision to relax moderation on the platform. X has been attempting to attract advertisers and diversify its revenue streams, including plans to offer financial services and facilitate payments on the platform. The company hopes to turn a profit by early 2024. Stocks already discounted a severe recession, strategist. Yahoo! The U.S. Treasury Department is expected to issue $114 billion in bonds as markets cope with elevated bond yields and higher for longer interest rates. COVID's principal and portfolio manager John Buckingham believes that historically, stocks have performed well in higher interest rate environments and inflationary environments. He also believes that stocks have generally performed well regardless of the market backdrop. However, he acknowledges that there may be some volatility in the near term. Apple expected to unveil new Macs as PC industry slump eases. Reuters. Apple is expected to unveil new Mac computers at an event today, which could include laptops and desktops. The new Macs are likely to be powered by a new chip called the M3, which will be made with 3 nanometer manufacturing technology. Apple's custom-designed chips have given its Macs better battery life and performance than Windows-based PCs. The event comes as competition in the PC market heats up, with Qualcomm planning to release an ARM-based chip for Windows and NVIDIA reportedly planning to enter the PC market. Apple's Mac business has seen a revitalization, with its market share nearly doubling since it started using its own chips in 2020. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.